So we are an interdisciplinary lab at MIT, and we work on many different aspects of prototypes for life in space. We like to say our mission is to democratize access to life in space and build the artifacts of our science fiction space future, which includes a focus on space health, which is part of why we are so excited to have been in collaboration with Bory Young for the event today. Yes, so there absolutely will be a day, and fortunately we already have some of the technology we need to be able to protect fragile human life in areas close to Earth, for example. So low Earth orbit, uh, we have an understanding from years of operating the International Space Station around the life support systems, environmental control that are required. We're still learning what will be necessary around the moon, of course, as we exit and go past the Van Allen radiation belts. The human crews that are working lunar missions will be more exposed to radiation. And of course, even going out to Mars and further, there are further technology needs to answer. But I would give you an optimistic answer. Yes, we will be able to mitigate some of these challenges and support human missions and life in space. Yes, yes. Well, so first of all, I would encourage them to get involved in the field. We're seeing so much interest because what's different about this generation is that they will actually get to go. They will almost certainly have an opportunity within their lifetime to participate in life in space, maybe as a tourist, as a short visit, but also potentially as their career, really participating actively in life in orbit. So I think it's a fantastic time for young people thinking about what their career might be, what their passions might be to consider space exploration and healthcare in space in particular. Hard to give a certain answer because there's so much that goes into making it possible to do a really bold mission like that. But I do think we have an understanding of the technology that if we committed to it as a society, which is often the big question, can we get the funding from governments that we need? Can we find the right entrepreneurs to support a mission? By the late 2030s, 2040s, I think we could expect something like a outpost on the surface of Mars. So this is an outpost like what we have in Antarctica. It's not luxury living, it's not a huge space city, but we can begin to really think about having supported human life on another planet.